taskmaker. Hello, welcome. This is Taskmaker. This is a quirky RPG for the Macintosh that came out in 1989. I have a lot of fond memories of playing it, so I'd like to do it again and see if it still holds up today. So, interestingly enough, this game is actually still for sale. You can uh, buy it in on the website that is linked in the description. Uh, you'll need an old Macintosh or some emulation capabilities to be able to run it. Um, but yeah, it's it's... I'll let the game speak speak for itself, I guess. It's it's unusual in a lot of ways. Uh, also, yeah, I'm running OS 9 here. This is a strange operating system. So, um, back then, not a lot of games really were full screen, as far as I know. Taskmaker. Uh, so this is going to run in a window, so you'll see the operating system chrome around everything. But that's actually important, because you have to use the uh, the menu items to do stuff. Anyway, um, oh, another thing I should note, uh, this game came out in 1989. Originally, it was, uh, here, I'll go to the about screen. Taskmaker. Created by David Cook and Thomas Zayner. Um, so, I'm running it in color here. The original game was in black and white, and it kind of looks better that way. You'll notice a lot of these tiles are not too great looking. Uh, but I'm going to do the tutorial in color, then I'll probably switch to black and white for the actual game, because the pixel art is a little bit more... I don't know, it's, it just, just looks better that way. Uh, but I'll do the, the tutorial in color so you can see what that looks like, too. So, let's see. Magic mouths in the ground. This this has a fairly lengthy tutorial, but you get some good stuff for going through it, and I figure it, it'll it'll be helpful for me to uh, to remember how the game works, too. Lock in each magic mouth, see what's an important message, each, uh -huh. Different types of flooring. Uh, examine. Okay, so press E to examine. What is it? This has some strange voice samples in it. What is it? 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 That's what it is. Uh, there's a white wall directly in front of you. Walls cannot be walked through in the obscure view of what's behind them. Black areas. Try walking around the wall to see. Uh, lots of different types of walls. Uh, See-through wall. So what is that? Glass or something? What is it? Transparent wall. Okay. What is it? Closed what iron bar. It? Stone block. What Let's is see, it? I think I can... Yeah, it hasn't taught me this yet, but I can I can bend those open. That used a bit of my strength meter. But that's a mechanic it'll cover later. What is it? I think if I walk into this, it hurts me. Ow! Yep. What is it? Can't walk on water. Can't swim either. Uh... There's a lot of little hidden stuff like that. Alright, so you can close the curtains again. I'm not sure actually why you would do that, but it's a thing you can do. Button. 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 I'm going to skip through a lot of this stuff for the stuff that I remember. It's A lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. Switch for force field. Ow. Can't go through. Uh, wall is open in a trap switch in the... Oh, wait. Now this I don't really... Re oh, that is visible just barely. This would be a lot more... A lot easier to see in with black and white graphics. What is it? Trap bricks. What is it? Like there's a tiny little magenta circle kind of in the middle there. Hmm. I feel like I should actually... Hmm. I'm tempted to switch to black and white right now. Let's actually do that. Because like I said, the, the point of this is to... Uh, to play in black and white mode. So I just... That's enough of a taste of the, the color graphics mode. <laughs> you have to quit the game to switch because otherwise it gets all confused. 
All right, so black and white. Task maker. All right, open Alex. Task maker. Okay, that's a little bit more obvious, but not that much. Let me actually go back and look at some of the earlier earlier tiles just to sort of show off the differences. So you can see this is this is like a little bit more mindful pixel art, I'd say. So maybe not the prettiest thing you'll encounter, but it's I think it functions a little better than the color version. All right, that's the whole palette of floors. Cool. Yeah, you can still tell exactly what everything is, and it just just looks better. It was not intentional that I'm I have two black and white games in a row in this time slot. It just sort of happened that way. But hopefully you guys can appreciate the aesthetic. Okay, right, so that was a floor switch I was avoiding stepping on this whole time. Can open and close. Alright. Uh, push buttons, you control... Mm -hmm. Fire and gate. Now, actually, there's another way to do this. Again, it hasn't taught me, but I can, I can just bend those things. So I don't have to rely on the switch to do that, but you have to have the, the strength to be able to do that. So that's regenerating slowly. Apparently my intellect is going down for some reason. Uh, right, walls can be walked through. Uh-oh. Okay, I cannot at all see the difference in that wall. And that's... That's going to be a problem. Because that looks exactly the same to me. So maybe I should switch back to color for this. See, this one you can see the difference. It doesn't have the shine on it. Oops. Not ready for that yet. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, well, what I'll, is de it? I'll deal with it. Maybe there is some visual cue I'll learn to spot for these. Yeah, okay, there is. There is. I can look at... I think the um, the alternating pixel pattern is reversed. I can just see, like, if I look at these corners, they're a little bit blacker because the there are pixels in them that are not present there. If, if I could see these two next to each other, they'd be more obvious. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so this one doesn't have the four things around it. This has a wider eye. No shine. Uh, pass walls on group to mm hmm. Uh, find the pass wall that leads to the next room. Uh oh. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Froze up for a second. Alright, I can see something changing right here. Yeah, this is the pass wall, right? Is it? Yep. Getting good at this. Find the next one. Yeah, so I'm playing, at the resolution I'm playing at, things are kind of small, and it's a little hard to see. That's it. Okay, I spotted that. Great, notice there can be more than one way out of a room. Yeah, there's another one there. Mm -hmm. uh, switches, pass walls, floor traps, switches, and make through the white walls below, or... What'd that do? Okay, so that's next to the square, that's next to the star. It's not clear to me what those are for. Dead end. Or not. Uh, force field is turned on, I have to go back and turn the switch off. Right. That one actually defaults to the uh, state you want it to be at, I guess. Okay. Uh, time to learn about teleporting. I think there's a pass wall in this room someplace, or close to here. I'm kind of keeping an eye out of it. Ke uh, an eye out for it. Uh, 
Tell me to take it behind the wall. Sure. Not all teleports clear my floor maps. Uh, floor, floor, floor traps can also teleport you. Uh, it's hard to see, but I think that's actually a question mark there uh, in the bricks. Okay, teleport to get beyond the clear wall below. Alright, that was it. That noise is going to get old. <laughs> what was that about? I actually missed... Okay, right, there's a teleport there. It takes you in a little trap. Okay, now those pass walls are hard to spot. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I have to look at the lower right corner. That's the only way I'm going to see it. Conveyor belt. Right, so those take you along... This game is turn-based, so those just automatically advance the turn and move you forward. Uh, you can you can fight against them, but it's kind of hard to do. Changing facing does not cost a turn, as I recall. Only only moving or attacking or doing some other action does. Uh, conveyor belt, right. So one way to do this is to flip the switch and stop that. The alternate way is to go like this. Just hold the key and you can force your way through. Okay, the boat and sail to the cave. Go to the cave, turn off the switch. So when I first played this game, I played in color, so this is... part of this is a new experience for me. Turn to the ship, sail directly east. I could do it, you say, or I could do something else. Okay, so that's where the teleports are. Even though I can't see it, the ship still has facing, so I have to press the press the button twice to go the direction I want to go. This is where it wants me to go. What is it? All right, doesn't look like there's anywhere else of interest. If the ladder's by, hmm, switch. Key on the floor directly south of you. Okay, get. Uh, I could use this. I think I can actually take this key with me out of the tutorial. It's obvious enough how it works. Just walk into a door if you want to unlock it. But I want to take this with me. Uh, see how many keys. Player info. Command I. Uh, name Alex, we had a tutorial. Finish the tutorial. Level 1, power 89. Oh! This game has alignment. Hmm. I didn't actually remember that. No items, two keys, 100 CP. CP is the currency. Don't know what it stands for. Uh, I don't have any high scores. Wait, this game has scores? How does that work? What is it scored by? Highest score, lowest score, most kills, greatest level, greatest turns, wealthiest, strongest power, most evil kills. Okay. Uh, could use action to open. Don't want to use my keys, though. Closing a door does not use a key. Does reopening it after that use a key, I wonder? What is it? Uh, got it. Get the key from the stone block compartment. Got it. I now have four keys. Uh, all right. Now this one, there's a way to bypass this. One of these. Here we go. This is a secret wall. Yeah, I just want to save all, all my keys from this just to just to use resources more f efficiently. Nice work. Uh, run out of keys, uh, find some or buy some. Uh, 
Treasure. More gold. Uh, put the treasure on the floor by choosing put. Alright, I have put the treasure on the floor. I have picked the treasure back up. Uh, deposit an auto teller. Uh, deposit. Transact. Alright, cool. So gold bars were 300 CP. I'm up to 400. So that's the way the currency works in this game, roughly. You, uh, you find treasure in the world and, uh, deposit it into an auto, te auto teller, and then that goes into your account, and you can use that to buy things. More than one item, right, okay, so I could... I can't get all with the keyboard, I'd have to use the mouse for that, that's fine, I guess. So stuff like this is why it's beneficial to go through the tutorial. You could skip it, but you'd miss out on, uh, all these things. So this kind of gives you a nice head start and money and stuff. Put command deposits one treasure at a time. So if I were curious what something was worth, I could say, like, what are video games token, video game tokens worth? They are worth 3 CP. What are platinum pieces, or what is a platinum piece worth? It is worth 20 CP. Alright, let's just do everything. Oops. Cool. 1012. Uh, buy keys from shop. I could, but I don't feel like it. I want to. I saved my keys from earlier, so now I want to save them here too. And I think, yeah, here we go. Can skip that entirely. Although, let's see. I don't know if I can get into this room directly south of me. I want to see what's in there. Yeah, here we go. So if you're eagle-eyed during the tutorial, you can, uh, you can save some keys. So this is a strange mechanic. There's garbage, so there are worthless items you can pick up. Uh, I picked up some rubies that I want to deposit before I move on. 150, not bad. Uh, put each piece of garbage into the bin to dispose of it. Recycling bins are a great way of permanently disposing of items which you don't want and can't sell. Yeah, so if you end up with something like garbage or bone parts, you can just do that. So those noises you heard are refunds, so you can occasionally get a little bit of money for recycling stuff, but that's that's not a, not a very good way to uh, to make money. Uh, player doesn't need food in the tutorial, but normally you want to eat whenever the food status bar is nearly empty. Uh, to eat the rations, use... Why would I try it now and waste them? Uh, scroll. Magic map. Temporarily see a bird's eye view of a dungeon or village. Use... use... Sure, let's actually do that one. Okay, cool. It's like viewing a gem in Ultima 5. I assume, yeah, scroll turns to dust, so I don't get to keep that one. Uh, scrolls allow you to cast spells that aren't in your spells menu. Spells menu has attack multiple opponents, blast opponent, frighten, hasten. I think, let's see, these are by level. If I want to attack multiple opponents... Okay, I can do that now. Blast opponent... Oh. Only level 1. Can't successfully cast until level 4. Yeah, so as I level up, more spells will become available to me. I think this is probably the only one I can do right now. Okay, that's level 3. I can do Frighten. Alright, so Attack or Frighten are available. Oh! Okay, so that cost Intellect and Spirit. And reduced my Afflictions. I'm not going to do this, because that would take me out of the tutorial if I was able to do it. Level 7 for Grasp Distant Object. I can Illuminate. That costs a lot of stuff. That's expensive. Magic Map. Need more Intellect. Okay. So that's a thing I can do normally. Ethereal Potion. Solid Wall. I don't remember there being dark areas in this game, but I guess there are since there's an Illuminate spell. 
Uh, I'm going to choose to save this ethereal potion because that's valuable. Some walls can't be gone through with it. I felt like the white ones were some. Maybe it's just the black ones. Okay, so can't go through a black wall, but the white ones can be passed. I'll take the magic mouth's word for it. Uh, okay, so if I were to rest... Alright, that just restores my depleted stats. Dagger. Uh, wield. Oops. Wield dagger. And where's... Two, three... Alright, so first number is accuracy, second number is damage. Cloth armor. Okay, so, oops. Uh, wield, click chest, cloth armor. Uh huh, protection. Boots, helmet, belt, gloves. Both hands, gloves. I guess I could uh, make you right-handed. Don't know that it really matters. Uh, place in your pouch where we'll be able to utilize it. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. If you throw a weapon, dagger, spear, etc., and get it off the floor immediately, the weapon is automatically reinstalled for you. That's nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Resting useful. Okay, so I have to wield the shovel, then use action in order to... Uh, in order to use it. That uses some strength. Can I dig here? No. Shops, sell, transact. Mm hmm. Look for discount shops. Buy your equipment there, sell at higher priced shops. Sure. Alright, so a lot of stuff available here. Uh, is there anything I actually want to buy? I should probably get some basic gear. Uh, so let's. Let's see. I'm going to take this dagger off. Or actually, no, I'm wielding the shovel. Alright, so let's just get, like, a broadsword, maybe? Here, I'll sell... I don't see myself using these, so I'm going to sell both of those. Okay, I see. You don't buy... Well, no, I didn't have any... Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so I'll get myself a broad... S should I? Yeah, since I sold my other weapons, I should. I don't actually remember how much loot this game gives you up front. I might be wasting money doing this. I'll just buy some super basic stuff. I have an illuminate spell. I'll uh, rely on that for illumination if I need such a thing. Oops. Uh, boomerang slayer. Okay, so you do sh uh, ranged weapons, I see. I don't see myself using that. Boomerang, maybe. Alright. So, right hand gets broadsword. Left hand gets shield. Okay. Face the metal bars, choose action to bend them. Strength is fairly depleted, but that doesn't matter too much now. Tutorial's not too much longer, I think. Uh, commands can be chosen by typing in lowercase first. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. So sh uh, shift, shift A would attack multiple opponents. Or shift B would blast. If I could cast it. Okay, tutorial done. I see a thing. In 
individualism. Okay, whatever you say. All right, game proper starts. Taskmaker. You've been on a long voyage from your homeland. You have come to rid this land of its terrors and to grow to be leader of this world. That's ambitious. Unfortunately, you are young and inexperienced. However, a powerful man named the Taskmaker has agreed to help you to grow stronger. Follow the cobblestone path south to Castle Hall, where the Taskmaker awaits you. Good luck. Things are... It, it gets less hand-holdy after this, but first little bit is, and the, the advice is mostly good advice, so I'm just following it. Ah, yes, I see score. Has that been up the whole time? I haven't been paying attention, I guess. I'm not sure exactly how you earn points in this game. I've never, never really looked at that. What is it? It is a face. <coughs> All right, so I could wander around the castle courtyard. I guess I'll do that. What are you? Excuse me. Oops. What is it? Ladybug. <coughs> Like I said, this game is quirky. Talking Ladybug isn't too surprising compared to some of the other stuff you'll see here. Oops. What is it? Townsperson. <coughs> Greetings. What is it? Neat. What is it? <coughs> <laughs> I found some money. From here I can see that there's land over there. I don't know exactly how to get to it though right now. More there, skeleton. Are you a... Are you an unfriendly skeleton? I see a boomerang. Protection ring? Okay, well that was in a solid wall. Hmm. Okay, sure. I'll uh, put on the protection ring. It doesn't have a number next to it, so I don't know what it... Oh wait, uh, I can see. Armor 16? 13. Okay, so 3 protection. Cool. Excuse, excuse me. Alright, you're gonna need to move. Graveyard. I think I could go in here and dig up some graves and get some stuff, but those uh, those zombies through there, I think that's what those are. What is it? Are not friendly. I don't feel like I'm ready to fight just yet. I'll do some more stuff around town before I do any grave digging. Should actually talk to the task maker since that's what I'm here to do. What is it? Alright. <coughs> Castle Hall. Yeah, let's go straight straight to the task maker. And get a task. Actually, I'm curious about something. Let's see, how do I do this? Uh, Command I, player info. Task, speak with the task maker. So basically you have like one quest at any time. And speak to the task maker is my task. How would I do that? <laughs> Night guard. Ah, you're a fancy one. All right, this is the task maker. Task maker. So you have come to serve as my loyal knight. I shall be pleased to aid you in your growth. There are many things to be accomplished, and for every task you complete, I shall bestow precious rewards upon you. When you are prepared, leave this castle and follow the cobblestone path northwest to Skysail Village. There you must retrieve a package I have safely hidden and trapped within my inner lair. Why? <laughs> the Taskmaker is a strange character. Leave me now and do not return until you have served me well. Alright. 
I will do as he says. So, Northwest, a sky sail, retrieve package in his lair. Task, obtain the package. Okay, yeah, I do still have my tutorial stuff. Just wanted to check. There are ways to get back behind here. I don't think... Task maker. I asked a very simple thing. The pass package has my initial on it and is within my lair at Sky Sail. Try again. Yeah, I can't go through there. And he doesn't, doesn't want me to come back until I've completed his task. He's fairly strict about that. There is some way to get behind this, I remember. I don't actually remember how to do it, though. I might need one of those mapping spells to do it. Alright, food bar is going down. I should be aware of that. I should probably buy myself something to eat before I go anywhere. Alright, you're the same one. Oh. Well, guess I wasted my, uh, wasted my money buying one of those. Should have known. This guy is not friendly. I don't think I'm ready to fight him either. I could try. Let's see how it goes. So I'll save. Bend. And let's see. If I run away, yep, he chases me. I might... I wonder if I can get assistance with him from the guards. What is it? Strong orc. Okay, so he hit me for that much health. Uh, ah. Action. No. What is, what's the attack button? Uh, fight. F. Oh, my health is very low. Okay, so I'm probably gonna die. That's what I expected, because this is a strong orc. First fight. Not the best choice. Guards do not help at all. Alright, so, uh, can I ditch him here somehow? Yes. Okay, cool. I think if I... Uh oh <laughs> I think my best move here is just to... Uh-oh. Actually, I'm just gonna die. <coughs> you are dead. Scavengers, thank you for the 180 CP cash you left with your goods. Alright, let me just go ahead and reload. Um, I'll show the... Uh, I'll show what happens when Task you die maker. at some point later, but anyway. I should probably get some armor since I'm not really wearing anything. Excuse me. Anyway, that's that's an encounter that's meant for later. Bank. I think I have some stuff on me. Where's the is there an auto teller here? No. What is it? Oh cool. Free magic map. Why would I buy hmm? So for some reason I can exchange CP for the equivalent item. I'm not sure why you would do that. Do you go to a place hey, where hey, I can... Hey. Oops. Oh, I'm starving. Alright, so just waiting for that is going to have an impact on my food bar. Okay. So you... Okay, here we go. Yeah, you just do the same thing. You seem to have a wider variety, possibly. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Because usually you just want to pick up the loot, then take it to an auto teller. I think this one... Yeah, here's some. And do that. Right, the 180... Mm -hmm. It's it's less safe to have it on you, because if you die, then you lose, lose that stuff, I guess. Okay, I don't think I'm interested in any of those things. Those might be more useful. I'll buy a torch. That sounds like something I might want. Hmm. Ooh. Cool. Ah, uh, that's right, I remember this. So there's some complicated 
There's a lot to do around the castle. Um, okay, so that gets rid of that. Cool. Got leather armor. Didn't have to buy any. Let's see. So, spade, club, and diamond. I wonder what those do. I'm going to turn those off. Alright, spade is there. I, okay, if I turn on spade... Ah, I see, that closes this area. Okay. Cool, so it seems like everything off will give me the most, uh... Most movement, possibly. Medicine brew. What are you? What is it? Okay, that's fine. You don't have to like me. What is it? This looks different. Why is this... Oh, no, that's just... I see. What is it? Flies? Excuse me. Oh. Huh. What is it? <laughs> what is it? I could pick that up and take it to recycling, but why would I touch it? Bunch of potentially useful useful stuff here. I only have a thousand CP. I think I want to spend it on equipment before I do anything else. Although, let's see. So this is a bar. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm pretty sure there are no consequences for just picking stuff up off tables here. Now, alcohol in this game, I don't know that it has any positive effects. What is it? Also, does checkers do anything? Can I can I use it? It's not something I can use. It might just be for... It's probably just decorative. So I'll leave it there. Now, you do not look particularly friendly, are you? Okay, well, he's a cut purse. Asked me to hand stuff over, but doesn't actually do anything if I don't. I advise you, drink heavily. All right, let's drink a beer. Uh, let's try Rich's Brew. Right, so this makes basically whatever direction you press, it's going to go in a random direction. If you're trying to change the way you're facing, um, it it sometimes takes a few tries. Excuse me. So, I don't think there's any benefit to ever drinking beer. So let me just sell. I can't sell to you. All right, let me just leave it here. Because there's there's finite inventory room, so I don't want to I don't want to be picking up stuff that's not useful to me. All right, um, the shop where I would buy equipment is over here. Is this it? Hammer. Excuse armor. Alright, so armor. I have leather armor already. Uh, which slots need stuff? Bracers might help. Bracers would probably help. I don't think I have any of those. Boomerang slings. Uh, okay, ranged weapons. Melee weapons. Alright, so I have a broadsword. I think that'll do for now. I can sell you my extra. Although, can I dual wield? I can dual wield. Is it useful? I don't know. Uh, let's go with a shield for now. But that might be helpful. Oh, cool.
All right, yes, food. That's a thing I need before I go anywhere. Uh, what is this? Seems effective. Okay, that restores all sorts of stuff. I think that's a type of sandwich. Let's see, this one you can eat multiple times, possibly. I don't know what's most efficient. I'll buy one of these and one of these, and I picked up a few snacks along the way, so let's let's hope those are enough. All right, healing, cool. More foods. Iron rations? So nobody just sells normal ras rations. Huh. Ah, keys. So here's where you buy keys. Uh, I have some keys. Three. I feel like I should have, well, I'll buy one more. Okay. So I think I'm basically ready to go adventuring. Tutorial and castle stuff took long enough that, uh, oh wait, what's this? Ah, more free stuff. I'll take the chips. And, oh, cool. So yeah, these guys don't care at all if you, uh, if you just take their stuff. So cool, free rations. Great. Alright, now I'm well stocked on food. Okay, so I'm just going to sign off here. Um, I'll actually go and do my task next time. Uh, and I will see you then.